Not only is child obesity growing, but the opposite is happening as well. Today in Health Matters, we look into a new study that finds childhood eating disorders are on the rise. It's a startling new statistic. The number of kids being hospitalized for eating disorders has gone up 119% in the past 10 years. This is just growing, just exploding. Dr. D'Alessandro has seen this problem firsthand and says a preoccupation with celebrities and other media influences are only a piece of this disturbing puzzle. I definitely think family dynamics play a big role, so how the family views weight, dieting, and health. Um, I definitely think the friends play a role in how their friends respond to weight, dieting, that kind of talk plays a big, is a big influence on kids. Genetics plays a role, we're finding out more and more, so it's multifactorial. The recent study published in the Journal of Pediatrics finds that anorexia and bulimia were the most diagnosed in girls under 12 who were hospitalized between 1999 and 2006. And there was also an increase in eating disorders among boys. For instance, gymnasts, wrestlers, dancers, runners, um, they're at a particularly high risk for developing an eating disorder. And studies have shown that a lot of these kids have what they call partial eating disorder syndromes. Children diagnosed with eating disorders can face serious physical, mental, and even emotional problems. Scary in kids. Um, you know, for instance, adolescence is a crucial time for bone mineralization, and in, in these young kids with eating disorders, that's completely disrupted. Um, we're also seeing some irreversible changes in brain structure. Um, so there's some effects that are reversible. Um, certainly eating disorders affect every organ system, but there are some that are longer lasting, and that's scary. Tomorrow in Health Matters, how to spot a potential eating disorder in a child. Plus, we'll look in depth into the treatment process and how physicians across Southwest Florida are coming together to provide a healthier attitude towards a child's self-image. Reporting for Lee Memorial Health System, I'm John Bafar.